Ola. <laughs> That's my reflection. So we're gonna go through how the CT machine works when, um, the question is, how do you manage rotation time? So this is a Toshiba scanner. Um, that's a Toshiba machine over there. It's a 320 slice and here. So we're in a head scan right now. So when we do a head scan and this is the effective mass that we're targeting. So we wanna aim for 251 mass and the DLP will be around 900. And of course, this will change according to the anatomy. So we know that MA plus rotation time, time is in seconds, so that's MAS, and that's your MAS here. So this and this will equal to this. And anytime you, want, you speed it or slow it down, you want the effective mass to be around this number, whatever this is. And you can find that under the helical and then scan details and it'll show up. So this is what we're targeting. And let's say the patient is moving, the patient is agitated or whatever, and you wanna time it and go a little bit faster, you wanna change these numbers so that it'll be around this. Okay, so target number is always the effective mask. And let's say the patient's moving. Sorry, we had to kind of jump out and jump back in, so I don't know if I'm repeating myself or not. Okay, so if the patient is moving and we wanna speed up the machine, our rotation time is something that we have to um, consider changing, rotation time and the MA. And again, we need to look for this number to be around this ballpark. So rotation time is how quickly the tube is turning in the gantry. So it's gonna rotate and it's gonna take 0.75 seconds to go around that tube. That's what that means, rotation time. Um, so if it's gonna go faster, then that means it's gonna be a lower number because this is one second. So one second and then this is less than one second. Everything below here is less than one second and then this, this is half a second. So if you're jumping half a second, your effective mass has changed, so you have to compensate with the MA. And let's see if this will get you somewhere near that target point. So your MA is gonna go up while your rotation time comes down. So it goes the opposite way. This goes up, this comes down, right? And if this goes back up, because it was at 0.75, this is gonna go back down to, I think it was at 220, but that's kind of at the ballpark. And you could always change that to 220 and then we're back at that number. So if you even wanna go faster, so the fastest is 0.35. So we know this is the fastest. And did you see that the total scan time changed? So earlier, the regular one was 11 seconds. So the whole from start to finish, from scanning from the base of the skull to the, the top of the skull, is gonna take 11 seconds for the patient, for the machine to bring the patient out, that pitch that's coming out. It's gonna take 11 seconds to complete that whole scan. So you know the patient needs to hold still for a total of 11, let's say 12 seconds total. But if we go faster, we're gonna change that maybe a little higher to 240. So that's about 251, right? And that's only gonna take you about six seconds, five and a half seconds for the whole scan, opposed to 11 seconds. So the patient now has to hold still for five seconds instead of double this time. So this goes down, this comes up, and then you have to target this. So that's what you look for. And you don't mess with the KV because the penetration is just going to be the same. What you want to look for is changing this and then the effective mask. And even when you speed up your scan time, your DLP is still around 900, 900 and something. You see that? So you still want this number, effective mask, and this number to kind of be in the same ballpark, no matter what you change. So like even if you go for five, 
let's go. See, that's still around the same ballpark. So that's what you look for when you're changing your rotation time. Okay. And then this is a little faster, I mean a little longer because you increased your time, right? Because it's not 0.35 anymore, it's 0.45. So you know that you're getting closer to one second than further away. So by increasing our time, you mean lengthening the time, the duration of the scan? Correct. Okay. Because you're taking more time to finish the scan, so that'll also increase that. More rota the, the slower rotation. Instead of it going like that, mm -hmm. or like the one second, then it'll just go like a little faster. And that way it'll complete at seven seconds. Cool. Got it? Yes. Okay. okay.